How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology giving you guys your June 2019 horoscope for Capricorn, Sun, and Rising. Thank you guys so much for being here and liking and commenting and sharing and subscribing. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. We're starting June off with the new moon in Gemini happening on June 3rd and this is happening in your sixth house. Now, the new moon is when you have two, both luminaries in the same sign. They're kind of highlighting one area of your chart, kind of wanting you to focus on one thing, maybe clear out the energy, reset some intentions there. With this being in Gemini, this is kind of like better, uh, fresher ideas, better lines of communication. This is about getting the message across, basically. And when you have this new moon, this is happening in your sixth house of your work, your routine, your day-to-day -day activities, your health, and your habits. And this new moon in Gemini is going to basically be a time of looking at what are you doing every single day and what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. What information do you have and how are you going to better impl uh, imp apply, that's the word I was looking for, apply this knowledge and this information that you've now gained better into your day-to-day -day activities, whether that's your employment that you go to, your, your employer that you go to every single day, whether that's your health or just any type of habits, this is going to be a really good time of looking at and taking care of tending and take and tending to those needs. As we move forward, on June 4th, we're going to have Mercury enter Cancer. And this is going to be a pretty big deal because Mercury, the planet of communication, our thoughts, our mindset, and how we vocalize our thoughts and how do we relate through communication, Mercury is going into the sign of Cancer. And the sign of Cancer is opposite of Capricorn. And the sign of Cancer is all about trusting, empathy, our intuition, what we need to nurture, what we need to protect. You know, cancer is all about the crab. It's got the super hard shell on the outside to defend and protect itself because it has a very soft and tender inside. And now as Mercury is in cancer, this is going to be about relating and being able to communicate more empathetically and being able to say what needs to be said. Now, Mercury is entering your seventh house of relationships. One-on-one -on -one relationships, this is about basic, like the first house is all about you. The seventh house, which is the opposite, is about everybody else. And so when Mercury goes into your seventh house, this is going to be a time of, you know, what are you communicating to the people that are around you within your relationships? This could be your marriage. This could be your partner. This could just be a coworker. However, as Mercury is in Cancer, this is going to be a time of not necessarily saying whatever's on top of your mind or saying what you want to say, but saying what needs to be said and, and you know, connecting and protecting, you know, those ideas and those thoughts in that line of communication. Then as we move forward on June 8th, we're going to have Venus enter Gemini. And now Venus, of course, the planet of love and value and expression. She wants to connect. She wants to indulge. She wants to have sex. She wants to have fun. Venus is going to go into the sign of Gemini where, again, Gemini is like getting the message across, communication, the twins. Venus entering Gemini, she's looking for mental stimulation. She's looking to learn something new. She's looking to, you know, what's going to be shiny and sparkly that's going to pop out and appeal to Venus. And as Venus enters your sixth house of your works and your habit and your employment and all that stuff, this is going to be a time of really looking at how are you going to kind of put more value and maybe learn or do something new within that context. Venus and Gemini, it's kind of like going into your sixth house. It's like you could be really busy with not like with your, you know, routine, but it's because you're, you know, starting a new health plan or you're doing a new fun project at work, which I know doesn't exist, but you guys get what I'm saying. As Venus goes into Gemini, you'll find yourself being busy, doing a lot more mercurial things, smaller things, maybe more hanging out and socializing and stuff like that. But it is more of an exciting time to really put more value and emphasis into your day-to-day -day activities, such as, you know, working out or your work, period. Then as we move forward onto June 12th, we're going to have Mars conjoin the North Node in Cancer and oppose Saturn in Capricorn. Pretty big deal, pretty rough transit. As Mars is in Cancer, this is, you know, I talked about this in my May horoscopes. This is kind of like taking action and defending and protecting what our needs are. Like what are these, you know, simplistic necessities that need to be addressed? And Mars is kind of having a hard time getting what it needs. And the North Node right now, you know, being Rahu, or the dragon's head, what we want to consume, what we're hungry for. This is in Cancer. This is talking about our needs, what we need to protect. And this is in your seventh house of relationships. And as Mars goes over the North Node, this is going to be kind of looking at like, you know, where do we need to go more towards not, again, protecting the relationship, being more focused on like, what is the other person's needs and not so much yours at this time. 
As Mars opposes Saturn, and Saturn's in your first house, I mean, it's conjoining the South Node and Pluto, it's just fucking gnarly right there. As Mars is opposing Saturn, this kind of comes down to what limitations, what struggles, what barriers and borders are you putting on not only yourself or are you, that you are projecting onto the other person and onto someone else. And I think as Mars is in Cancer, you might have, you might have you know difficulties within relationships, but as it goes on top of the North Node, I think this is kind of like, hey, you know, what needs to change and what needs to focus what needs to be focused on? What where do their needs as well as your needs need to be met? Then as we move forward on to June 15th, that's when we're gonna have Mercury conjoin the North Node and oppose Saturn. And as, like I said, with Mercury being in Cancer, this is about communicating and relating and speaking more ideas that are about nurturing and protecting. This is about, you know, empathizing. This is about caring and feeling. And as this is on top of the North Node, it's kind of like act first, think later, shoot first, ask questions later. And as Mercury conjoins the North Node, this is kind of like, seeing a better image and getting a clear visual of what addressing your needs, addressing their needs looks like. What does it look like protecting, defending, being more open, being more vulnerable and trusting the other person? What does that look like and how can that be expressed and communicated better? And again, Mercury will be opposed Saturn at this time, so this is gonna be a little bit rough. This may be hard for you to open up. This is Saturn in Capricorn in your first house. It's easy for you to kind of put yourself into a box, but this is gonna be a good time to open up with that. Also on June 15th, we're gonna have the full moon in Sagittarius, and this is happening in your 12th house. Now the 12th house is about the subconscious, you know, repressed and unacknowledged parts of yourself. It's about, you know, hidden things and hidden enemies. And this full moon, when you have a full moon, it's light, it's bringing light to what we don't always see, and this is the 12th house of a, a house that we just don't see. It's an aversion to the ascendant. Now, this is kind of like after having our basic needs met and kind of a attending to that, this full moon in Sagittarius is giving us an opportunity to look at what is the new story that we're going to write. And with this being in your 12th house, this is kind of uncovering things that you didn't acknowledge, that you weren't aware of before. Things that are about your beliefs, things that are about your needs. You know, we talked about this earlier with Jupiter transiting your 12th house. You know, there's a lot of shit that you didn't know about yourself coming up. And as this full moon happens, this is going to be a time to really emotionally look at that and take that in. Then on June 21st, we're going to have the sun enter Cancer and enter your seventh house where this is bringing a light to this. This is bringing more of that, you know, you know, the as when the sun moves into a sign and the sun moves into a house, it's kind of like bringing the daylight with it. It's bringing the attention there. And this is, in, of course, in your seventh house of relationships, of, you know, uh, you know, partners, uh, lawsuits, you know, other people. It's a reflection of who you are. But also on June 21st, Mercury is going to enter shadow. And I'm going to be doing a whole video on the Mercury retrograde. However, Mercury will later retrograde in the early degrees of Leo. But as it enters shadow in Cancer, you may experience a miscommunication or something happen on that day where you're going to have to come back and revisit it. So pay attention to June 21st, especially within the context of Mercury being in your seventh house of relationships. This could be a miscommunication or an idea that may not, you know, evolve or take a lot more, t a lot, lot longer time. Uh, pay attention to that as Mercury enters shadow on June 21st. Then on June 26th, we're going to have Mercury enter Leo, and this is where it's going to eventually retrograde. And as it retrogrades in your eighth house, or as it enters your eighth house, Mercury is going from, you know, saying what it needs to say in Cancer to saying what's on its heart and what it's passionate about. And as Mercury enters the eighth house of death, of transformation and change, other people's money, it's hidden things, this could be kind of a little bit of a rough time. When Mercury retrogrades, you might notice the uh, you know miscommunication that you or the other person might have, but this is also going to be something very important to look at. And that's basically what I got for you guys for June. June is going to be a very rough and intense month. You know, I make it sound kind of easy and clear. I do that on purpose because this month is going to be pretty intense. But again, focus on the necessity. Focus on what needs to be protected and nurtured. This isn't about what we want to do. This isn't about what we can do. This is about what we need to do. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and liking and commenting and sharing and subscribing. I love and appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be seeing you next month.